The new biology reveals that our mind is controlling our genetics and our behavior. And when I talk about the mind, I talk about there are two parts to the mind. There's the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. The conscious mind is the latest part of evolution. It's right behind our forehead right here. It's the part of the mind that we have our spirit, our personal identity with. The conscious mind is very creative. It's the one we can have positive thoughts and think about what we want in the future. The subconscious mind is more like a, a recording device. It records behavior. And then when you push the button, we play the behavior. So it's not creative, it's a habit mind. Well, for the longest time, we th thought that our conscious mind, our creative mind is controlling our life. And that's the mind with positive thinking and the wishes and desires. The conscious mind has, what do you want from your life in it? I, I say, what do you want out of your life? What, what do you want? You say, I want happiness and health and, uh, and success. And I say, oh, those ideas come from the conscious mind. And the subconscious mind is not creative. It just plays habits. Well, here's the problem. The conscious mind can think about the future. The conscious mind can think about the past. Uh, we can solve a problem in our head by not paying attention to here and just going up in our head. So the point, the conscious mind is always moving from thought to thought to thought, moving around. So I say, well then, if the conscious mind's not paying attention, then who is running the life day to day? All the things we do, driving the car, doing the job. If our mind is moving, it turns out our subconscious mind. So now we know that we are only creating our life 5% of the time with our wishes and our desires. 95% of our life comes from the habits. And I go, whoa, well then we have a problem because the fundamental habits, the first habits that we learned, we learned them from our parents, from our family and our community. And this is the beliefs that went first into our subconscious mind. So I say, when you are being conscious, using your conscious creative mind, you're doing what you want. But the moment the conscious mind moves and thinks about something, then by default, we go to the subconscious. And I go, oh, but the main programs in the subconscious are other people's programs. We got them from our parents or from our family. And so uh, now we find out 95% of our life is from the subconscious programs. And this is where a lot of issues come from for a simple reason. I wish to be successful and healthy and then I turn out to be a failure or I turn out to have a disease and I say, how come? And it turns out because we're only working 5% with my wishes, 95% of the story from my family. So if my parents' behaviors created cancer and they gave me the behaviors, then when I grow up, I will get the cancer as well. Not because I consciously want a cancer, but because my habits from my parents are playing 95% of the time. Well, this changes the way we do psychology for a very important reason. Because now we see the two minds as separate minds. Conscious is not subconscious. That conscious learns in a different way. Subconscious is more habit conscious is more creative. So I say, oh, well, how can I educate a conscious mind? I say, read a book, read a self-help book. And I say, good, now you read the book. And I can give you a test at the end of the book. And I say, look, you've got a hundred. You know everything in the book. I say, yes, your conscious mind has understood the book. And then I say, has your life changed? You go, it's the same life. How come? And I say, because you educated the conscious mind with reading but you didn't change the subconscious mind. So you become more aware in your consciousness and yet you still have the same habits in your subconscious. Psychology is like that as well. I can go back and find out my mother did this, my father did this, uh, my friends did this in my life and that caused me to be crazy. And I say, oh, now I know all that. And I say, where is that knowledge? I say, oh, the conscious mind knows that. I say, now that the conscious mind is aware of why you are crazy, does your life change? And I say, no, because the conscious mind learns that way, the subconscious mind learns in a different way. So if you want to change the programming in the subconscious mind, which really runs our life, we can't have the conscious mind talk to the subconscious mind. Some people say, I'm going to give myself a good talking. I will tell myself not to do this again. 
and it never works. And the reason is this, there is an entity in the conscious mind, you, and the subconscious mind is a machine. So you try to talk to the machine, but there's nobody in there. And that's why we are not successful at changing the old patterns. So there are three ways to change the subconscious mind. And this is the three ways the subconscious mind learns. The subconscious mind can learn from hypnosis. This is how we got the first six years of programming in our subconscious. The, conscious, the subconscious mind can learn from habit. If I repeat something over and over and over again, practice and practice and practice, the subconscious mind can learn it that way. And a third way is new. It's called super learning. It's a way of like pushing the record button on a tape recorder. When you push the record button, it can download information. The new psychology called energy psychology activates the equivalent of super learning. So we don't have to go over your whole life experiences. In just minutes, we can take a belief that is, that is not helping you in minutes and rewrite that belief in the subconscious and you can walk away 10 minutes later, a completely different person. I'm very excited by this psychology because the world is in a lot of stress. We don't have a lot of time like the old fashioned psychology takes years. The new psychology takes minutes. And this is very important for humans because we need to change our lives as soon as we can to create a better sustainable world. Mm -hmm.